In this episode, we have a montage, stuff gets bought, and a field is harvested. Yes, as you saw from their montage, a few things have happened. Uh, today is now day three, mid-autumn, and it's just coming up nine o'clock. Uh, let's have a check on the bees on the way past here. They are yeah, doing fairly well. Got a few more honeycombs there, and the trees, I think, are progressing nicely. Yeah, accidentally uh, took some pears out of this one previously, but uh, that is not a big deal. Uh, we've also got a crate full of honey jars almost ready, uh, almost complete now. Uh, and this soybean field is ready to harvest, so we are going to be doing that today, among other things. And one of those other things is, let's take the dog out with us today. See how this works. Uh, so, yeah, what we've got, if I can hit the right button, is, uh, let's see, try not to drive into the field, that'd be handy, wouldn't it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we are going to go and fertilise uh, one of the fields that we um, uh, completed yesterday, or last time, that uh, showed up on the, um, uh, the little montage we started with there. So let's just attach this. That all plugged in. Hopefully that's full of uh, the lovely fertiliser, and it is splendid. Okay, so yeah, we've got, we've got tree in the cab. Always happens when I leave the window open. <laughs> yeah, there goes the old dog running around there. The other dog. <laughs> so many dogs. Well, just two. But, uh, yeah, so the cornfield is coming in pretty soon now. It's in its last growth stage, so hopefully that's going to come up tomorrow. Uh, we've got a little bit more work to do down here. Uh, this sort of extra addition to the cornfield, we're going to leave um, fallow, I think, probably until next year. If I have to go around these trees, um, yeah, uh, most mostly because uh, the corn is almost um, done, and if we put something else in it now, then we won't be able to put um, like a whole crop in it uh, next time. So let's just make sure we're not going to destroy this. I don't think we are, but no, we're not. That's good. Okay, so we are going to get fertilising on this. Uh, we did uh, scan everything and unfold there we go uh, yeah we scanned it we put uh, canola in here for now so I figure that'll be a, a decent enough starting crop for us so yeah spreading out like a Klingon battle cruiser or something <laughs> okay let's get going with this let's see oh god I pressed the unfold button first didn't I come on there we go. Lovely. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it is filling out nicely on the minimap there, so that's good. That means we are getting our stuff done as we should. And uh, yeah, so um, yeah, we just left that little bit down there fallow for right now. Um, I figure once we got the corn harvested, we'll probably replant with like oats or something. 
but uh, yeah, we are progressing nicely. I think we are getting close to being done with the main challenge now. It was originally, uh, if I remember right, to uh, basically carve out a working farm, which, if this all goes well, if we get uh, the soybean crop harvested and the um, uh, what's it, the corn harvested as well, maybe. Um, we should be well on the way to uh, completing our challenge. Uh, what I'll probably do later on is um, find that original note that we got uh, from the uh, boffins at Feldcorp when we first started here, and just double check what that says. But uh, yeah, so we got this uh, this nice field of canola on the go. Uh, as you can see, the money has gone up nicely. We got uh, a lovely bit of uh, cash off of all the wood that was here. We must have taken three or four solid loads of that down. Um, and uh, as you saw, we got a couple of pretty good sized loads of um, wood chips off into the uh, fertilizer, uh, not fertilizer, um, compost heap. Now, um, as we discovered previously, that wasn't working with um, precision farming, so we are just going to sell that. Uh, what we'll have to do at some point is get a conveyor belt up there, I think, just to make it easy to um, get out of the uh, thing. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, the silo, bunker, clamp, whatever that thing is that it's in. <laughs> yeah, we'll just uh, get a, uh, a conveyor to lift out of that into the lorry. Um, who knows, we might even buy like a massive trailer or something to do it, because there's uh, something like 80,000 litres in one, and maybe another 30 or 40,000 in another one. So, uh, we shall see how that all goes but yeah we're getting this uh, this is almost done now so that's good um, so some other things we are going to do today uh, we are going to purchase a bit of land because with the corn coming in soon we can uh, sell that or, or well I mean we've got two options if we buy this piece of land then um, that gives us option two uh, one option being to just sell it straight to one of the uh, traders uh, places that uh, want corn or particularly if we buy this uh, piece of land we're looking at. It has the uh, flour production mill on it. So what we could do there is um, get the uh, uh, take the flour down there and it'll turn it into... Um, uh, no, take the corn down there and it'll turn the corn into flour. And then we can sell the flour for potentially double the price of the corn, I think it was. Uh, obviously it takes a bit of time to process, but that's not too big of a deal really and yeah, we'll just see uh, see how it's all looking there get that little spot done there's a little patch over here by the field entrance so we'll get that on the way out lovely folder up well that's worked out quite good hasn't it so uh, yeah let's go and get that bit of land off of the uh, menu if I can press any of the right buttons today that'd be nice <laughs> It's this one over here that has the heating plant and... Uh, oh, it's also got biofuel on it, I think, as well. Let's buy that now, because it's pretty cheap. Uh, yeah, so we've got showing up the um, flower production there. Uh, there should also be a... Um, uh, what's it over there as well? A uh, fuel production place? Assuming something hasn't gone horribly wrong and it's gotten... Uh, eaten or dissolved somehow <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, what we are looking at doing too is chopping out a couple more of these trees um, probably these three by the uh, field edge there because they're slightly in the way but uh, yeah we shall worry about that another time so let's get this back over to where it's going to be and uh, the next job is to buy ourselves a harvester oops that wasn't the button I was looking for but I guess we'll make it work. <laughs> so, yes, uh, to the store. We are going to purchase ourselves a harvester, which is an MDW Fortret. Fortret harvester, this one. And this is... We're just going to get it brand new, because we've got the money, and that's a good thing. I know we kind of don't need a massive one, and it's probably a bit big, but it's a Fortret. We're in Germany, and it's one I've been looking at and kind of tempted to use, so we're going to get that. That's 110 grand. Now, we are also going to get uh, the cutter 
trailer and head attachment that go with it. It's a nice 6 meter one there, so that's handy. And the associated trailer for 8 grand. And also, we are going to get ourselves a corn header as well while we're here. And eh, why not? We'll go for this one. It's another 6 meter. Leave that as is. Because what I'm hoping we can do is maybe bring it all over with that uh, truck and um, trailer thing. So let me uh, run over here and get our little thing. Where is it? I oh, know it's through here somewhere. And we do need to buy this piece of land at some point as well. And we've got to put up some sheds for all this equipment to go in. Ah, here we go. Let's detach this. There we go. Oh dear, something sounded like it fell off there. I don't think it did. No. Yep. So, let us see about getting this out of here. And, yeah, that's not going to stay there. Um, I've got some ideas for places to put sheds. Uh, but we'll see about those. As and when we progress a little bit more. Yeah. Right, here we are at the shop. There is our lovely, lovely new harvester. So we are going to, uh, let's see, unfold this, get those out there. We did also purchase a uh, winch upgrade for this as we were swinging by the uh, the store just over there. Uh, now that should hopefully help us with um, picking up a couple of things we're going to get later on. So let us hop in this. That's not too huge. Okay, this could work. Nice looking little thing. Fairly uh, fairly straightforward, I think. Yeah, not too bad at all. And like I said, I've never used this one before. And of course I'm coming at that header at the worst possible angle. But that's no surprise. And let's see if we can get this loaded onto the header trailer successfully. Uh, that's not exactly straight either, but oh well. <laughs> so yeah, let's pick up the uh, corn header. Now I know we don't need the corn header just yet, but I figure, you know, we are here. Okay, let's see if this is not going to fit on like that. Definitely not going to fit one like that. Did it unfold the uh, harvester as well? It did. We don't want that folded yet, thank you. Unfolded something. Words. <laughs> Ooh, I have a feeling that's not going to go on there. Okay. Well, let's back it on. See if that works. There we go. Yeah, that's not so bad. Okay. Turn that off. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm hoping that trailer header will hook up to the back of this lorry. Don't mind the... Uh, oh dear. Yeah. Perhaps this isn't going to work as planned, is it? Nah, I don't think we're going to be able to pull this. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we could try it. We could technically drive it like that, but that's not exactly safe, is it? I wonder if there's any sort of front uh, way we can get on this. Okay, let's see if we can load this up a different way. So I don't really want to drive this back at like 12 miles an hour, but I think we may have to. Which I guess we'll have to be fine with. Still, at least that's hooked up, I suppose. Let's get this out of the way of that. Well then, since that didn't work, what we are going to do, just turn that off for a minute, is buy the other item that we were looking at, that we're going to need. Because um, we've got our straw mead loaded, and um, we're going to need a baler for the soybean straw. And one that I've been looking at previously, or in other areas, is this lovely lovely chap, the uh, Mengel, I guess, Mengele, uh, 
I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, but uh, yeah, the 530. I thought for a second that said Gandalf on the side of it. <laughs> oh well. Yep, let's purchase that, brand new. And this is where the um, winch should come in on this. So let's back this up for a minute. And fingers crossed, this is all going to work as planned. Okay, if I press that, it should unfold the uh, things and pop out the winch line. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see it uh, popping out down there. So if I get out, maybe. Aha! Lovely. Okay. No, that's unloading uh, the thing. Let's see if it's gonna pull it onto the thing. That is absolutely fantastic. I have a feeling we might be in a bit of a weighty pickle. <laughs> but, uh, hey, how hard can it be to get this back, do you think? Let's give it a go. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Where are we going to put this? Uh, I guess we can put it in here next to that. Yeah, that'll do. Really need to get some more storage around here. Get some things moved and other things put in, and sheds and such. Okay, so let's extend those uh, things, roll that back out. I have to say I'm impressed with that. That to be um, a, as simple a mod uh, as a thing as it is, you know, obviously it looks a bit sort of janky just being a, a massive wire-shaped stick, but I like that. I think that's really good, and I think that works wonderfully. Lovely, that has come up, and we are just going to pop this back around to the thing and uh, run back to the store and grab that, uh, uh, what's it called, harvester. And we'll bring the harvester back over and get started with this. So I shall see you all in just a minute. Or three. More five. <laughs> Well, as you can see, it is uh, 8 o'clock now in the evening, and it's still too damp to harvest. Because of that uh, fantastic rain that we had uh, through the entirety of uh, the second day of autumn, uh, yeah, it's pretty much soaked the ground so bad we haven't been able to harvest all day long. Uh, so we've just been um, doing a little bit of work here with the uh, thing. Um, okay, let's run out of honey finally. Uh, yeah, with this um, honey production uh, escapade we've got going. Let's pop that in there. There's a fly trying to murder me from somewhere. Um, yeah, so we've got an entirely full box here of honey to deliver. Um, we've started a fresh box there. We are currently out of honey. However, uh, let me go check on the bees. I rather suspect... Yeah, they've got seven honeycombs in there. How are we doing for fruit? Yeah, we may be making a uh, large delivery to the... Um, yeah, what do you call it? The store again at some point. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so for now... Uh, essentially what we're going to do is just sleep through the night into tomorrow, fourth day of autumn, and uh, see where we stand. Because I'd like to get harvested. Uh, according to the weather forecast, it's going to be very bright and very sunny. Uh, for the rest of today and hopefully tomorrow. Oh no, that's tomorrow. That's the time uh, weather for tomorrow. Yeah, Tuesday. Should be nice and sunny, so hopefully we can get all the harvesting done. Uh, so yeah, I shall see you all in the morning. Alrighty, well here we are. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and everything's still soaking wet. <laughs> uh, this is not going to end well, is it? 
uh, hopefully you know, things will um, oh hello dog uh, things will dry up fairly soon so what we are going to do is not harvest anything but we are going to go pick some fruit so get some pears in here and uh, let's see grab another one and avoid the pear tree and throw it on the ground bring that one over to there start getting some plums in there lovely and let's see we need one more which will be this one for this one over here and that is a good 55% of apples that's lovely okay so we have five trees over there so what we're gonna need hey let's see we've got a box of honey hmm. I've got to think what trailers we've got we can use what we're gonna do is uh, move the um, harvester back out of the way quick just back it down here into this little corner and block the um, outhouse toilet thing there that's fine uh, yeah what we are going to do is uh, drive this little uh, lovely little truck the uh, M415 I think that was uh, gas pickup truck GAZ sort of Russian slash Ford thing okay so we are going to come around here and yeah yes now of course I went and left it there didn't I so let's give it a little bit of a nudge just to swing it around a bit might have to give it a slightly harder nudge that almost worked and of course the uh, front end is in all the wrong places that may or may not have helped okay let's see if we can get back in there to oh no we can't okay oh, I see how we're gonna have to give it a shove see I should have bought the other trailer uh, truck over shouldn't I <laughs> well, when in doubt just hit it as hard as you can and obviously we're using the back end because it's far more sturdy than the front aha that might be enough okay let's see if that's gonna do it come at it from a slightly more frontal angle please 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 attach to my truck and now I've found a tree lovely okay ah there we go it does attach perfect uh, so now we've got to get out of this tree okay. and we get out of one tree and drive straight into another of course okay there we go now we are rocking and rolling so yeah we are going to take this down um, over to our little mechanical shop here and uh, switch it to a bale trailer and then um, get these uh, things sorted out with it okay so let's grab these things pop them up on the uh, uh, pick it up thank you pop that one up there just have to be very careful not to uh, get them caught up in other trees and have their um, contents changed because that can happen that one there so we got pears now oh, of course yeah I put that one yeah there well uh, the other one is this one okay at least it doesn't auto convert into honey there is that oh dear am I pushing I'm pushing that off the other side there we go so we got plums apples and pears up at the front here we are going to need to grab a few extra from uh, our little storage thing here uh, I think we have four different types if I remember correctly apples, pears, 
plums and cherries. So that will work. So if I were to... If I would have done this correctly in the first place, that would have been just brilliant, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, I could do that. That's... Mm. How hard could fruit palette management be? Apparently, quite hard. <laughs> On you go. Okay, and we are going to grab this one out of here. Now, I should strap it down, but I'm a little wary of doing that because of some of the issues we've had with um, odd strapping. Uh, in terms of, like, you'll strap something down, or you strap these to the pallet, and it will do this really peculiar, like, extra collisions thing, and then won't fit anywhere. Kind of like it's doing now. Which is really annoying. Okay, let's drop that on the ground. Because who doesn't want smashed honey? Because <laughs> I've, I've had this problem before, but usually it's when they're strapped down. So the fact that it's not strapped down anymore is a bit confusing. So what we might do is strap it on, and then uh, see if we can throw it out there. Grab you and push you in. There we go. Okay, pop you on there, and you on there. And let's see if... yeah, it's that invisible collision again. It's very, very peculiar. And it does it with this truck as well. But the weird thing is, maybe this will fix it now, having done that. No, it hasn't fixed that one. If I come at it that way now. Well, let's go around the other side, see if that makes any difference. It could even be something to do with the way the pallets are stacked. Yeah, it's just not going in there for some reason. Okay, well, we'll put that down there on the floor and uh, see if we can get it figured out. Okay, well, that was a bit of a palaver, but uh, we've got it all in there now. Uh, there was some weird collision thing going on with um, the individual honey boxes. The last time I did them, we didn't have that problem, so I don't know why it's doing it this time, but uh, hey-ho, it's just one of those odd mod conflicts, I guess. Uh, different collisions with different bits of stuff. So uh, what we are going to do now is stop here momentarily and uh, unstrap these. See what these trees are. First one is cherries. Okay, that's the one that we don't have anything of, I think. Apples, plums, and pears. Okay, cherries. So you are going to be our cherry box. Get out of my face. There we go. You can fill up with all the cherries. Uh, next one is pears. Okay. Oh, and uh, what I had done was uh, save and reload the game in case that triggered the uh, collisions to function correctly. Uh, it didn't, however, it did um, uh, fix the dryness of the land, or the wetness of the land, so uh, that actually worked out quite well in our favour, I think. So uh, we can now harvest as soon as we get done with these. How have we got here? Plums. Is that plums? Of course that's not plums. I suspect this is the apples one, yes. Yes, that's the apples. Okay, so we'll lob that down there. Start filling up. Got plums for that one. And that one is now full. Lovely. Okay, now let's pop this in here. Like this. Lovely. Strap it all down as much as we can. and make sure none of it flies off when we turn around. But we are going to do a big circle over in this way through our ah, lovely field of weeds. <laughs> uh, well, that should hopefully fix itself when we uh, 
plant something in there next time. Now, of course, it just occurred to me, we don't have a silo either. So, uh, let's get this lorry. And go over and collect the uh, grain back for this without driving into it. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, we'll get the uh, get the grain back on this and then uh, see how much uh, how much crop we get off of here. So if we get more than twenty thousand liters, then uh, we may put a silo in right away. Um, it just depends. Yeah, there's the wood hiding in our flatbed back there. Uh, not entirely sure where I would put a silo. Of course, that's the other issue. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of uh, couple of places I had in mind for doing some work. Uh, just up here, if I avoid the tree, where the um, two lee pairs are. Uh, I was thinking of maybe flattening that out and popping a little shed in there, just between the uh, field and the uh, the road up to the other field. Possibly um, clear some space down the other side, maybe, uh, or even get a new piece of land. Yeah, we've got some got some options now that we've got a little bit of money coming in. So what I shall do now is park this over here. If I can find the thing. Yeah, this will do. Park it here, and let's go get our harvester. Get some harvesting done. Now, the thing is, um, I did find that letter, which I shall flash up on screen. Uh, the original uh, welcome letter we had when we first got here. And basically, it says, uh, Your task over the coming years is to build a self-sufficient and profitable farm from the ground up. Uh, well, obviously we've been making money, but that's been more forestry than farming. So, if these two crops, at the very least, the corn and the soybeans... I need to unfold it. I always forget to unfold it. <laughs> uh, yeah, if the corn and the soybeans are profitable, then um, yeah, we've got canola in that uh, new big field. Please be giving us straw out the back. It is lovely. Uh, yeah, if the... Uh, uh, these crops are profitable, then, um, which, I mean, they should be. I don't think we're going to get that much, because this is a tiny field, but it's also um, not the best field in the world either, uh, in terms of, uh, what do you call it, uh, the stuff, the soil composition, is not exactly brilliant, if I'm honest. <laughs> it's uh, a little bit... Um, Terrible. <laughs> I seem to remember I was checking it while I was doing the um, soil sampling, and it came back as being uh, like loam or sandy loam or whichever is one of the worst ones. So it's got like an 80% yield expectation off of it, which, let's face it, is pretty awful. And yeah, we haven't even got a thousand litres of soybean yet from this. And now, you know, like I say, I know this is a particularly small field, so uh, after this, what we're going to do is probably sow it with um, sugar beet or potatoes, something like that, and just get uh, get something in there that's going to make us a lot of crop regardless, and then we should be able to sell those fairly well. On the bright side, we are at least going to get um, some straw bales off of this as well. Which reminds me, I may have to get a bale fork. I'm not sure. I know we've got pallet forks and grabbers and things. So I'll have to check those. But yeah, so far, not so great on the old harvest value. But, let's just check what soybean is worth. Soybean. Of course, we're on hard economy, so it's uh, 658 per thousand up at the Vinoteca. I think is the pub area. So let's continue on with the harvest and see what we've got left at the end of it. Let's get the last of this done. Yeah, we've only got uh, maybe 3,000 if we're lucky. No, no, we're not even going to get 3,000 off of this. Barely over 2,500. So what I may do is leave that in the harvester for now. 
because there is no sense in uh, putting that into the trailer at the moment. So we shall have to figure out what to do with that. Interesting. And I think we'll just plop this up at the end of the road here. And then go get the old doggeroo out. Give these bales a bit of a go quick. quite a loud reversing noise, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now where did I put the bale? Oh, yeah, that's where the baler is. Okay. Hook her up. Lovely. No, don't need to uh, connect the PTO, definitely. Okay, let's see if this thing is going to work. No reason it shouldn't, but, you know, you never know. First, you need to unfold the bag. Why do I always forget to unfold things? <laughs> now will you work? Yes, you will. Lovely. There we go. And if I could uh, drive properly, that'd help, wouldn't it? Probably isn't helping I'm trying to drive this with a tracked vehicle. But, yeah. I think we'll probably get two or three bales off of this, that's not terrible. Alrighty, we got the baling finished and uh, we are now looking at getting our silo in. Uh, ironically, we ended up with um, just under three full bales. And, and by just under three full bales, I really, really mean just under. We were like 99% through, and it decided it was going to uh, not give us our um, last bale, which was very rude, I thought. Very rude. Was not happy about that. But, you know, it happens. Can't have everything. <laughs> so, yeah, so right now we are just uh, clearing a little bit of space for um, our silo to go. Now I'm thinking, I'm hoping we can squeeze it in here without having to cut down any trees. Let's have a look. What we are going for is the all-in-one silo, which is fairly small. Now we may have to cut down a couple of those trees because we are, yeah, we are right on the borderline there. Well, I mean, we could pop them in, pop it in and see, uh, see how it goes. Yeah, it's going to cost nothing to, uh, nothing extra to place it, so, yep, let's pop it down there. I think we can get in, but we will be um, removing those trees, I think. But yeah, oh, how unstraight is that? Is that unstraight? Oh no, that's fairly straight. That'll do. Yep, so we can drive into it there, or drive around it on the road, not this way. Splendid. Okay. So yep, that is our lovely new silo, which is perfect. Uh -huh. And it looks like a harvester had pooped out a little extra straw, which hopefully will be the five litres that we need to make a new bale. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get this unloaded now into the... Uh, uh, into the old um, uh, truck lorry back grain thing here and take it over to the silo. So, uh, yeah, on that note, um, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, uh, please give us a like and hit that subscribe too if you haven't done so already. And uh, comments are always welcomed. And uh, if you'd like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, above all else, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Hope to see you next time. And, uh, Hopefully, things won't be as hard as they could be. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Cheerio.